still very much hanging in the balance as Steele launches a long ball forwards to Mark Hamill Rice on the ball now. One of the real bright spots of the season goes all the way as well and draws a save from Hennessy. Danger still not over though, and it's hooked back across. Just about balls managed to keep the ball out. And downfield, nice touch from De Silva. It's the return pass now. De Silva now surges forwards into the penalty area. Bogdanovic gets it across. Mackin shot blocked. Mackin on the rebound and Barnsley take the lead. And what a price this goal that could be from Jonathan Mackin. His ninth of the season. Oakwell erupts. And Barnsley, who need a win this afternoon and results elsewhere to go their way this weekend to ensure their survival get the goal against the league leaders who could deny Wolves the championship title 58 minutes on the clock 1-0 and Barnsley playing themselves into trouble in their own half here not what you want to do if the clock ticks down and Wolves on the attack now with Matt Jarvis on the left hand side skips past the challenger herself great run by Matt Jarvis early ball across for Kyle Reid gets the shot in and Wolves are level, six minutes to go, and it could be the goal, it will be the goal, to clinch Wolves the title, if they can cling on for the draw. The on loan, West Ham United winger, with a timely first goal for the club, but it was all made in a superb wing play on the other side of Matt Jarvis. And there goes the full-time whistle. Wolverhampton Wanderers who won promotion to the Premier League last week secure the championship title their supporters are delirious and well a slightly unsavoury incident here as one fan seems to make his way towards Mick McCarthy McCarthy understandably furious too sure what happened here but it's a sour ending to a game where it was scintillating stuff at both ends of the table both sets of supporters are on the pitch now and well the celebrations perhaps tarnished by the invasion in the end a wonderful game of football though it's finished at Oakwell 1-1